Mrs. Mathias is accused of having, on the night of the 24th December, 1818, between midnight and one o'clock, assassinated the traveler upon the bridge to rob him of his gold. Prisoner, you have heard the act of accusation read. You have already heard the deposition of the witnesses. What have you to say in answer? with calmness. These gestures, this violence, will do you no good. You are a man full of cutting. You knew well the time to select. You knew well that how to evade all suspicion. You knew well how to destroy all evidence. You are a dangerous man. The public voice accuses you. Answer me this. How is it that you hear the noise of the bells? Prisoner, you speak falsely. At this moment, you hear the noise. Tell us why is this. Unless you acknowledge the true cause of your noise, you hear. We shall summon the mesmers to explain the matter to us. It is well, write that down. Write that here as in a dream. Silence, prisoner, silence. Gentlemen, this noise of bells arises in the prisoner's minds from the remembrance of what is past. The prisoner hears the noise because there rankles in his heart the memory of what he would conceal from us. That the traveler's horse carried bells. Be silent! You see, gentlemen, the prisoner contradicts himself. He has already testified, and now he retracts. Prisoner, you persist in your denial. You persist well, considering that since this affair took place 15 years past, and that it is impossible to throw out the light upon the circumstances by ordinary means. First, through the cutting and audacity of the prisoner, and second, through the deaths of the witnesses who have the, given the evidence. For these reasons, we decree that the court here, the mesmerists, officers summon the mesmerists, Summon the mesmerists. If you are innocent, why should you fear the mesmerists? Because you can read the inmost secrets to your heart? Be calm or believe. Your own indiscretion will prove that you are guilty. Your Honours, the President, and the Judges of the Court, it is your decree that has brought me to your, before your tribunal. Without such direction, terror alone would have kept me far from here. Can you 
you set this man to sleep? I can. I command it. Your resistance betrays you. He sleeps. Well, should I ask him? Ask him what he did on the night of the 24th of December, 15 years ago. You were on the night of December 24th, 1818? What time is it? Speak on. I command you. I command you. I command you.